Hi, and welcome to this video all about bitmap graphics. Okay, so uh, on the screen, uh, you can see a bitmap graphic that I have created, and uh, this has been really, really zoomed in. Okay, so it's a, it's a graphic, and I've uh, zoomed in and in and in and in. All right, and this is what you would see if I did that. Okay, now it's not the greatest graphic in the world, uh, but hopefully you get the idea. All right, now I'm going to annotate this just to explain uh, what you can see. Okay, so um, these squares, all right, so you can see that the picture is made up of squares, all right. These squares are called pixels. Okay, um, so the squares are called pixels. Um, and in each pixel is a color, okay. So here we can see that uh, this square uh, contains the color white, and this square contains the color black. Now, obviously, uh, in a computer program or on a computer, okay, uh, the computer needs to store what's inside each pixel, okay, and the computer does that using binary, all right. Now, if I've only got two colors, like I have in this picture, I just need one bit, okay, so I need one, zero, or one, one bit, okay. So, if I was going to represent the first row in my picture, okay, I would write, Sorry about that. I would write zero because the first one's white. Zero, one, one, zero, zero. Okay, now it doesn't really make any difference if I use zero for white and one for black or, uh, or the other way around. Okay, as long as the computer knows uh, what I'm using um, for each one. In fact, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to swap those around, okay? And this could be a question for you to try and answer once the video, so once you finish watching the video, is actually I'm going to use um, something that's a bit more realistic. I'm going to use one for white, and I'm going to use zero for black, all right? And there's a reason for that, because the computer would recognize a white as one and a black as zero. So I want you to think about uh, why that might be the case, all right? And then come back and see if you can tell me the answer. All right, so this next row would be one, zero, 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 one. Okay, and then the row below that would of course be all ones because it's all, oh sorry, would of course be all zeros because it's all black. Look at that, I can't even get it. So the row below would be all zeros, there we go. All right, and then the row below, all right, would be uh, one, zero, 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 one. Just making sure I get it right. And then the row below would be exactly the same, wouldn't it? There we go. And the row below that would also be exactly the same. Okay, so um, here, this, this, this representation over here represents what the computer would see. So this is the the computer representation. Okay. Um, now, as we talked about, this is a black and white image. So we're only using one bit to represent each color. So only one bit inside each pixel. Okay. If we want to represent more colors, we would need to use more bits. And let's just go through that. So one bit is two colors. Okay, if we've got two bits, all right, we can represent four colors. Now, if you don't believe me, I'm going to write them all uh, I'm going to write out the different patterns and you can see what I mean, okay? So, we can try it. Okay? So, 0 0 would be 1. We've got 0 1, we've got 1 0 and we've got 1 1. So, there are four different combinations. Um, or two or four different patterns of two bits so we can represent four colors so this could be uh, and again uh, this would be black uh, this could be red for example this could be blue and this could be white all right again as long as the computer knows um, what each pattern, pattern represents it doesn't really make any difference what numbers we use so if we carry on I'm not going to go too far but three bits would be Eight four bits would be sixteen and so on. Okay, and hopefully what you can spot is that every time we add a bit, so every time this is going up by one, that's 
plus one. This one's gone up by plus one. Okay, this one's gone up by plus one. So every time that's gone up by one, this is doubling. So this is times two, times two, times two. Okay, so you should be able to work out how many colors we can represent with five bits, six bits, seven bits, and so on. Okay, so that's how bitmap graphics are uh, are stored in a computer system okay now the final thing we're going to finish on is um, the size of this graphic okay so when we talk about the size of the graphic we talk about its resolution all right and basically what we mean by the resolution is the number of pixels that make up that graphic okay so the resolution of this graphic in front of us all right if we have a look would be we've got six pixels across so it'd be six by six okay so this is a six by six uh, resolution graphic all right it's got six pixels across and six pixels down all right so uh, that's everything you need to know about bitmap graphics thanks